Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look of how you can speed up your WordPress website to make it really fast with the help of free services and uh, free plugins. I have here a presentation that will show you exactly what we're gonna configure in this video. To have this working we'll need uh, to use Cloudflare, Redis, Varnish Cache and Cloud Panel. So what will happen is the fact that the client it will come to Cloudflare where uh, Cloudflare will store the version of your uh, cache page together with the CSS, JS and images in their CDN. Then uh, it will go to the Varnish Cache in case the page is not there to fetch it and store it in there. So Varnish Cache it will act as a front end uh, for your server which will store the page on your server. It will not store any images and things like that. We discussed in the previous videos about this. I will add the link in the description. And uh, Varnish will communicate with the Redis for the objects in PHP for queries. So uh, Redis will store these objects in uh, memory. And when you will have a request from Varnish to to fetch these queries, it will go actually to Redis and fetch it from there. Redis, it will fetch these requests from the server directly to store them in memory in case they are not uh, there. It will uh, need to go to the server and get these details. But this is very fast and um, you will uh, have a very speedy WordPress website at the end. Also, it will help the server to not be loaded with a lot of requests. So let's go and check the website that I've built for this. It's called best pocket I've done that. This is just a test site that it will help us uh, configure this and uh, see exactly what we need to, to do to have this working and uh, have a speedy WordPress website. For the varnish cache, I've already created a video that you can check that will explain everything. So I will not get into the details of varnish in this video. I will just present you what is my power um, plugin options when it comes to WordPress performance together with Cloud Panel. If you decide to use Cloud Panel or you can do this with anything that offers Varnish and Redis. So yeah, this is the website and in here I have first the um, done a test without anything enabled in, in there. So uh, we're going to see that, for instance, this website, uh, it's loaded in about uh, three seconds. I did a couple of tests. You see here that the time to first beat it's very, very high. It's not good at all. So you see you have like uh, big numbers in here because the details hosting in here are quite big. So if we're going to check the website, we're going to see that uh, you have a lot of details on this website. I've created like this just for you to see and understand the benefits of, of this. Again, if we are going to open a new incognito mode and we are going to test this website locally. This is done on a VPS server with IRM in Europe. Let me open the inspect. Let me go to the network for this and let me refresh a couple of times this. So you see that the load time it's about uh, one uh, second and a half you see in here. So it's quite uh, high. If you ask me, you see second refresh again, you will have more than one second and a half for everything to, to load, even the seconds. So you have a lot of requests that are made in here. You have 200 requests, you have a lot of resources. So this page is quite heavily for any web server. And we're going to speed up so we, you can see exactly how you can do this. So let me minimize this and let's go into the plugins and see what exactly we need to, to install in here. So the first plugin that we're going to use the is the CLP Varnish Cache plugin. This is developed by the Cloud Panel and it will help you manage the cache in the in the Cloud Panel. We're going to activate this plugin. Okay. And uh, right now, if we're going to to go to the settings varnish cache in here, we just need to enable this. It's safe. So right now, the varnish cache will be enabled in our uh, server. Let's go to install plugin and check the second one. The second one is ready object cache. This is the plugin that will help us cache the queries and uh, some PHP objects in Redis in memory. I will just activate it. Okay, the plugin is activated. Let's go to settings. 
Redis. And in here you have the Redis configurations. I will enable the object cache. So right now all the requests, uh, it will be, it will, it will go through Redis also for the objects, the PHP objects. So this will help us in increase the, the speed. And the other plugin that I'm going to activate, it's the one that will help us cache the pages on Cloudflare. This plugin name it Super Page Cache for Cloudflare. For this, you will need to have the Cloudflare activated for your account. So if we go to the domains in here, you see that if we go to DNS, you need to have your website proxied to Cloudflare for this to, to work. So yeah, I have everything set up in, in here. So I will just go and activate the plugin. Okay, I will go and uh, check the settings. So right now you have the details in here, the general settings in here. You'll need to link your account to Cloudflare and choose the domain name for this. This is straightforward to be done. It shouldn't be that hard. You just need to put your email and uh, get the API key. In here we have the caching options. You have the max age. And the uh, other things in here, you have uh, the cache behavior to what not cache. If you don't want something to not be cache, URI, string, and uh, and so on. Usually I let this as def default. I don't modify a lot of things in here for basic installation. In advanced, you have uh, the preloader. So basically this will help you preload everything if you, if you don't, uh, if you flash the cache and uh, you don't uh, want to wait for the cache to be populated once someone visits the page. You have the options to preload this. For this test, I will not go into this. And in here also you have a varnish support option. If you enable it, by default it's no. If you enable it, in here you will have the hostname for the varnish support, which is localhost and the port that we've seen there and uh, no in here. And in here, what will happen uh, every time when you will um, flash the cache from Cloudflare with this plugin, it will go automatically and will flash the varnish cache also. So you don't need to go and flash to caches to caches manually. I will hit update. So right now this will also control the varnish cache flashing. The other thing in here are if you have other plugins that you are using for caching, I'm not recommending anything else for you. And right now what we need to do is just go and just enable this. Okay. So right now this was enabled to so see that it's working. You can do some tests in here and you see that the page cache is working properly right now. So right now we have all the caching mechanism uh, configured in uh, our WordPress website. And um, what will happen uh, right now is that uh, Cloudflare will cache initially the page and it will uh, store the details on their CDN for the other files that are not cached. And um, it will do so when this is visited first time. So we are going to go and visit this page a couple of times to see exactly what is happening in, in here. Also, you see that you don't have a lot of queries right now that uh, are going around because you have the object caching plugin and the object caching plugin uh, cached about 99% of the, of the queries. So this is ready and you know that it's, it's working. So let's go and open also this page and we are going to check locally the speed and see what is happening. So let me open the, okay. So right now I've opened the page again and we are going to hit enter and we are going to see what is happening in here. I will hit it two times. So everything to be populated because also Cloudflare needs everything to be cached there. You see that the load is in about one second, which is lower than the one before. And let's see if this cache it's, it's working properly. So you see in here that the cache status for this page it's hit, so it would, which means that the caching it's working for the for the Cloudflare. And this is Servia Cloudflare first. And in case the page is not there, it will go and fetch it from our server. I will go and run a GT metrics right now, so we can see the time to first bit better in there. Okay, so I will do a test in here and uh, what I will do, I will just do it two times to be sure that uh, the details are cached in Cloudflare because this will go to Vancouver. So you see the second time when the cache was 
was propagated to Cloudflare, you have the A grade and you see that uh, right now the page for the largest content paint, it's decreased a lot and it's, uh, it's loading in uh, a couple of milliseconds and so you have uh, the complete page that has all of these resources loaded in one second. In the past it was like three or four seconds, time to first bit, it, it's very fast, it's 49 milliseconds. So this makes the page load very, very, very fast. And uh, this utilizes uh, free plugins. Okay, let me go and check and see if uh, something's changed also in here. So in here you see that you have the page loaded from this location. Sometimes it's under one second, sometimes it's over one, one second. But yeah, this is a very heavy page and uh, that's why. But the, the speed is quite good. You, so you see in the past you didn't have load time be under one second. So if we're going to check, for instance, let's go and check the blog, maybe, which has a couple of things in here. You see that this loads in under 200 milliseconds, which is really fast. So all of this uh, really helped improve our uh, our speeds. You see here that this page doesn't have a lot of requests like the other one. So this makes things very fast if we're going to check the header of this page, we're going to see that this is sketched first by Cloudflare, Cloudflare and then in case the page is not there, it will be sent directly to our server. This will help um, reducing the server load also because imagine that not a lot of requests, it will come to your server, it will be served directly from Cloudflare. Of course, you can uh, do this also with the Cloudflare Firedollar plan that will help you speed up WordPress websites. But yeah, this plugin it does exactly the same thing. So you don't even need to pay anything to to have the Cloudflare WordPress plan. Okay. Another thing that you may want to do to speed up your WordPress website is to reduce the number of uh, the sets that are loaded. So you can um, check this plugin uh, Assets Cleanup WordPress that uh, it will help you help you reduce even more the WordPress uh, blotter and you can choose what uh, you need and what you don't need. And right now you have a very big website you see in here that has a lot of requests that is loading under one second. So you see you have a lot of images that are loaded. You have like uh, about eight megabytes of images. The requests are like 200 and you have very, very good speed with all of these configurations done on your server. Of course, you need to monitor everything and see that everything is working properly in function. If you have like WooCommerce there and other dynamic plugins, you need to add the pages in the dynamic uh, exclusion list so you don't cache them via varnish or you don't cache them via the Cloudflare, but this can be done very easily in the plugin uh, integrations. You, so you have the third party integration in here that you can choose and edit. This is the tutorial. This is how you can uh, speed up your WordPress website with the help of free tools and server and Cloudflare. In case you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.